Hey, welcome back to Adumbrate. In this video, we're going to show you how to make nitric acid. And that is done by reacting sodium nitrate with sulfuric acid. The goal being to remove that hydrogen on the sulfuric acid to the nitrate and move the sodium to the sulfate. And that should make pretty cool stuff. Uh, since there's no water involved, no water produced in the reaction, this should produce uh, pure nitric acid. Well, not really pure, because it's got some nitrogen dioxide in it, because we can't control the temperature very well. Uh, if you were able to control the temperature perfectly, you'd make white fuming nitric acid, which is very pure nitric acid. Today, we're going to make red fuming nitri nitric acid, and that is made by uh, the process we're about to show you, which is putting a the mixture of sodium, sodium nitrate and sulfuric acid in a flask, and then distilling off the, the uh, nitric acid that is produced. It boils at 80 degrees Celsius, and the sulfuric acid boils at 300 degrees Celsius. So as long as you don't go above that 300 degrees Celsius barrier, the only thing coming off should be pure nitric acid and some nitrogen dioxide because the nitric acid decomposes. Gabe has just finished drying out some sodium nitrate. This is a bunch. We reacted a whole bunch of sodium hydroxide with nitric acid. We made it from the remainder of our concentrated nitric acid. And we're, we're going all out to, now. Yes, we're going to distill this with sulfuric acid into concentrated nitric acid. Pure, fuming nitric acid. Yes, yes. no water. Almost no water. We're going to do that again. And now we're going to put in 38.92 grams of sulfuric acid. I believe we have something like 64 grams of sodium nitrate. Yes. <laughs> this is our, uh, our setup. It's a little bit better than last time. We have an actual little foam stand we made. Yes, so it uh, doesn't fall over. Rather than going straight into a pressure vessel, we're just having it go right in here. Right into a beak. Uh, the distiller's full. We have a place to put more water in. <clears throat> Got a thermometer. Time to get this hot. Well, we're going to put the heat in on. Let's get on. Getting our first drops of pure nitric acid. How oh, man. Oh, man, man. How man the dwarf planet. It's uh it's forming droplets really quickly. It's very arbitrary, so it's very subjective, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice right there, boys. Nice. So after a few hours of distillation, we were able to produce uh, quite a bit of red fuming nitric acid. Um, this is supposed to be 100% pure, obviously it's not, um, but there is almost no water in there. That liquid is almost entirely acid. Um, as you can see by the bulge in this lid, it's actually um, quite pressurized. We were able to get something like a 70% uh, yield uh, out of this, so there wasn't a whole lot of loss. Put that in the cabinet now. Um, so overall, it was a very successful reaction. Now we have some nitric acid, so let's take a look at some of the reactions it can do. It looks like it has a little bit more burning. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a little bit of uh, ice purple alcohol on the table, and if you add concentrated nitric acid to it... <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Hypergolic reaction takes place between the two. Instantaneous. Almost like an explosion. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time on a dumb break. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can't smell it. Damn. Wow.